welcome again. I hope this video will help people in therapy or even therapists or people who are not in therapy at all. It will bring some awareness and discovery, hopefully. Clients, when they express something painful in their story, they're laughing when they're expressing it or there is a smile there. At that point, there's an intervention from me usually because I've seen them express that painful story and I say something along the lines of, you know, you've been banging your head against a brick wall, it seems, for years. And by doing that, it's not the wall that's hurting, it's you, it's your head that's hurting. And yet you're smiling through telling me that story. And then I will pause. And there's often at that point, maybe a light bulb moment for the client because they reflect, maybe they've never stopped to think, I'm actually telling a very painful story. How painful is it? Are they again just smiling through it because they're trying to bury the pain which they've been doing for so long? And this is deep stuff. And through a psychodynamic exploration with the client, we often go back to their childhood and look at parents or their caregivers at the time and explore what was going on. And this can be done in various ways, whether it's through role play or using my cards or stones or talking, various methods depending on what works for the client. We're all different. Some are more forthcoming than others. Some are more able to explore that than others. And we take little steps with this because they often recall traumatic moments in their lives, in their childhood from parents or caregivers at the time that they may have buried very deep often not processed and in our safe space they are trusting me and through our therapeutic relationship we're able to bring awareness to things they may have completely forgotten about or not recalled and the way they feel or have thought they felt about those things often changes because it's those experiences that have given those patterns of behaviors over the years that have grown and grown and grown and repeated and they become habitual and they become normal and a whole load of emotions and feelings come on the back of that as you can imagine. Now, a counselling session is different than if they came on, say, the anger management course, because that's a psychoeducation. And I'll be saying, well, look, let's stop right there with that. And you're smiling for it. Let's think about that. You're smiling. And I'll be a bit more direct with that because we're educating more there. I'm offering you tools and guidance and it's a lot more targeted if you like because you're with me for a short space of time and I want you to go away with as much as possible to help you on that new journey to understand yourself and what may have been going on for you for many years and there are many light bulb moments in our group sessions in anger management. There are many of those for people who attend these. And it's through these that we begin to be more aware of ourselves and the reasons why we are thinking and feeling and behaving in the ways that we never had answers to. And having those answers, having those answers to questions that weren't even questions in our lives, it brings peace. It brings peace in that understanding of yourself and 
it frees you. You're able to let go of a lot, a lot of anger, stress, shame, guilt, all of that. So going back to how we started the video, it's when someone in therapy, or maybe it could be someone you're speaking to today at work, a member of your family, anyone walking down the street and if they're talking about something that sounds painful, hurtful to them, and they're smiling through it, there's more going on for them. There's more going on for them and just being there to listen is probably helping. That's it for today. This is Andreas Patikas, your fellow traveller on life's journey, signing out.